Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. Well, yesterday I became aware of a product called the Wonder Hoodie. This thing builds itself as the world's first bulletproof hoodie. Much of the advertising, and you're seeing some of it going past here, shows individuals are showing off its stylishness, in particular pulling up the hood over their heads. This is really bad, blatant false advertising. The Wonder Hoodie is in fact a thin bulletproof vest that sits inside a standard hoodie. You can see it as it goes past here sometimes. It will in no way protect your head. The vest itself is very thin and this is a detriment because a standard vest like those used in law enforcement is thick and generally unyielding. You see it's a common misconception that a bulletproof vest essentially makes you invincible. It doesn't. Bulletproof vests do not stop the energy and the pressure caused when a bullet strikes it. Rather it's kind of like an airbag. It takes the energy and the pressure and spreads it out over a wider area and even then you know, taking a, you know, a slug to the chest is no picnic. It might not kill you, but you're still going to get bad injury. In fact, there's an idiot on YouTube where he actually takes a standard handgun and fires him at himself at point blank range. I've got a link to that video below because it's so damn stupid. But he does it with a standard handgun, point blank range. And then in another video shows the rather significant injury that he incurred anyway. And I have another link to that video below. Now, for the Wonder Hoodie, I could find no outside testing whatsoever involving it going through ballistics gel, which is a standard test that you must do. And I just bet that if you wrap this thing around ballistics gel and fire it at it, it won't perform anywhere near as well as a standard bulletproof vest. In fact, Wonder Hoodie actually sells a standard bulletproof tactical vest. And this is probably a better use of your money. And it also will not lull you into thinking that the hood is going to protect you. I absolutely guarantee, as advertised, they are no better than a standard bulletproof vest and probably worse because they're thinner and they have a zippered front. Now you can create something thin that will stop the bullet's penetration, but it will not stop that energy and pressure, especially when you have a zipper down the front. And I guarantee that because of Wonder Hoodie's false advertising, some idiot is going to buy one, put a Model 1911 gun to his head, and yank the trigger, and he will be in for the very last surprise of his life. Now I've asked Wonder Hoodie for samples so that I can take them out to a gun range, see how they perform, video it, and use it for my channel, and give it all back to them if they want it. I don't expect an answer, as these videos would almost certainly expose that these are no better than the standard vest, and probably worse. You know, the zippered front, well that means if you get shot here, you know, a standard vest would be able to spread that energy across, you know, this direction. But if he gets to head here, it's only going to be able to spread it over here. It's not going to be able to stop it as well. And if you got a zipper down the front, it's going to go straight through if you have a zipper. So, Wonder Hoodie is engaging in false advertising, designed to make you think that you bought a stylish hoodie that will turn you into Superman. For the love of God, do not buy a Wonder Hoodie. If you think you need a bulletproof vest, buy one of the many, many, many tried and tested options at your disposal. Just Google bulletproof vest and you will find all kinds of options that will be far more effective. Will they look stylish? No, but they'll do a far better job of protecting you. Do not buy a Wonder Hoodie. So that's all I've really got to say about that subject for today, so thanks for watching, and please leave comments, tell me what you think about this video or anything that I ever have to say in the comments section. Now I'd like to mention that within the next 48 hours or so, I'm going to be start dropping a multi-part series on what is my libertarian answer to when abortion is ethical and when it isn't. As with my other series on the Second Amendment, I will be releasing one per day to give you a chance to digest any given part, especially because this is a complex issue and each part is rather complex. So don't miss that series on abortion later this week because I guarantee, I absolutely guarantee to you that you will hear an opinion that you have never heard before. 
So if you like what I'm doing, please do like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and to tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would certainly appreciate your support via my PayPal tip jar, my subscribe star, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of those in my description box below. So thanks for watching Tales from SYL Ranch, and remember, for a breath of fresh air, watch Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.